Welcome to the Proxev training video for building your catalogue. In this video, you will learn how to provide effective content using the Proxev catalogue builder. Please follow the link to the Proxev website where you'll be able to download the latest version of the catalogue builder. Please ensure that this file is saved locally on your computer so that it can be easily accessed at a later date. When you open the catalogue builder, you'll be prompted to enable the macros. Please ensure you do this for editing purposes. Please note, options may vary due to the different versions of Excel. On the left hand side, you'll find six blue icons which allow you to navigate to the different sections within the catalogue. If you hover over the icons with your mouse, you'll see the title of each section. If at any point you need help or guidance, please refer to the second and third icon where you can find instructions and examples. Within the instructions, you will find information on how to populate your header data, create price breaks and delivery charge details. Select the shopping basket icon. This is where you'll populate your data. Across the top, you'll see the headings color coded in red and yellow. The red columns are mandatory fields that need to be completed and the yellow ones are optional columns that will enhance your catalog. If you hover your mouse over the heading, you'll see a pop-up box appear, which will give you a brief description of what needs to be populated within that column. It will also notify you of any cell restrictions, such as data type and character lengths. The first column is titled Action. In this column, you should enter Add as you are creating a product within your catalogue. In the Supplier Item ID column, please populate this with your unique supplier part number or SKU code. If you do not have either of these, populate with distinctive values, for example, 1, 2, 3, and so on. In the item name column, please give a short description for the item that will appear in the catalogue and on the purchase order. This field is used for item identification and should be clear, precise, and easily understood. Again, please note the cell restrictions. In the unit of measure column, please enter the code that identifies your product. You can find this in the units of measure table by selecting the box icon on the left hand side. When the table appears, you'll find a filter arrow located to the titles in the table. This will enable you to filter down to the most appropriate code. For example, select the filter arrow adjacent to name, then select text filters, and then contains. You will then be prompted to type in a word. A list of the words that contain box will appear. Select the most appropriate code, copy it, and select the shopping basket icon on the left hand side. You will then be returned to your content page. Paste this code into the units of measure cell. In the unit of purchase quantity column, enter the quantity of items that comprises the unit of purchase. For example, if the unit of measure is a box and the unit of purchase quantity is 10, this identifies that this item is purchased in a box of 10. In the unit price column, enter the price for the product or service. If you have a contracted price for this item, please enter the agreed price. Please do not insert the currency symbol just enter the numerical value. In the minimum order quantity column, enter the minimum quantity in which this item can be purchased. In the quantity interval column, input the minimum increment value of which the item can be ordered. For example, if ordering food for half a kilogram, enter 0 0.5. In the UNSPSC column, you'll need to enter the most appropriate code relating to each line item. Please note that the items can be searched by the buyer using the UNSPSC tree in the shopping environment. To find the list of codes, please select the icon on the left hand side labelled UNSPSC. When the table appears, as before, select the filter arrow adjacent to definition. You can then filter on a word that relates to that item. The class version column will be auto populated. In the lead time column, enter the delivery time for the item. This must be a numerical value. 
in the keyword column, enter words that relate to your item as these words will be searchable words that will bring up your item. Please note the character restrictions. In the long item description, enter a full comprehensive product description. Please note there are no character restrictions within this column. In the price effective date, enter the date from when your prices are effective from. In the price expiry date column, enter the date when your prices expire. If you do not have a date, please enter a date in the future as this can always be amended. In the contract reference column, enter the specific contract reference you have set with your buyer, if any. If not, please enter a zero. In the Crown Commercial Service Contract Item column, insert a Y if this is on a CCS contract and enter an N if it is not. In the Collaborative Content Item column, insert a Y if this item is available from a contract or framework agreement and enter an N if it is not. In the Core Item column, insert a Y if this is a core item on a contract and an N if it is not. In the Government Buy-in Standard Compliance column, insert a Y if this meets the standard and an N if it does not. In the Environmentally Friendly Item column, insert a Y if this is an environmentally friendly item and an N if it is not. In the Hazardous Item column, insert a Y if this product is hazardous and an N if it is not. In the Manufacturer Part Number column, this will be the part number assigned to this item by its manufacturer. This is a searchable field to help buyers locate products or services. In the Manufacturer Name, this is the name of the manufacturer. This field is searchable to help the buyer to find products or services by brand name. In the Model Name column, enter the model name of the item. The Required Item 1 column this is a reference to another catalogue item that must be purchased if this item is added to a shopping basket. Enter the supplier item ID name of the required item. The item must be in the same catalogue, for example, mouse and mouse pad. The optional item 1 column. This is a reference to another catalogue item that can be purchased if this item is added to a shopping basket. Enter the supplier item ID. The item must be in the same catalogue. In the item information URL column, insert a hyperlink to a website that provides further information about the item. The URL should be prefixed with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and is not case sensitive. The buyer will see the hyperlink labelled additional information and when clicked on this web page will open up in a new web page. In the aspect name 1 column insert the name of the item aspect for example colour, height, length, width, weight, colour size. If an aspect name is entered an aspect value adjacent column is mandatory. In the aspect value 1 column insert the value associated to the aspect for example black. In the aspect value 1 unit column, insert the unit of measure associated with the aspect value. For example, if the item is a shirt with an aspect name of collar size and an aspect value of 6.5, the aspect value unit might be inches or INH. In the columns titled pick name 1, document 1 and video, enter the file name of the main product image document or media file relating to the product including the extension. All media items are uploaded separately against a catalogue reference. The file path is not required in this field, only the name of the image, document or video as it is saved in the uploaded file directory or zip file. This image will appear as a thumbnail picture in item search results. Please note, you can only attach images in the supported format which you can find in the comments box that appears when you hover your pointer over the heading and only one document may be referenced in each field. In the GTIN column, enter the Global Trade Identification Number, for example the EAN or UPC code. 
For the purpose of this training video, you will not need to populate the next six columns. Once all the data has been populated, select the Add-ins tab at the top. That will bring up the catalogue toolbar. Select the Check Data button. This will run a validation test on all the information you have entered. Press OK on the first screen to run the test and view the results. Press OK again to view the error report. If there are any errors, they will appear here. For example, you can see that the value for the UNSPSC code is incorrect. Therefore, by selecting the cell link in the report, you'll be redirected to the exact cell where the error is. Please correct the error and run the check data again. When you see the message, test procedure is successfully completed, you have now successfully built your catalogue. If you need additional information or support with building your catalogue, please contact the Proxerf Service Desk on 0845 603 2885 or by email at support at proxerf.com.